Give me the card. Yeah. From Team 24. Okay, thank you. Okay. Is this working? Yeah. Thank you. Um, my name is Jimmy. My name is Sharia. And we're from Student Party Vrijspraak, uh, the student participation of Tilburg Law School. And today we want to talk to you about what we believe is one of the main strengths of our university. And that is um, the strong sense of community and cooperation that we've established here together. Um, and in particular, we want to talk to you about how we can capitalize on that. Um, we've experienced the campus as a center for development, as a place where we come as students not only to learn, but also to develop ourselves in the persons and the professionals that we want to become. And we think that this is a key characteristic that defines our graduates. Graduates of Tilburg University do not only have the necessary knowledge, but they also have the skills and the network to make it in their chosen field. Um, and along this bigger team of community and corporation, we want to talk to you about three subtopics. Topics that are important to us as students and that we think will be important during the years to come. And those topics are our campus and multidisciplinary education and career prospects. Tilburg University is a small and compact campus. It also has that community feeling to it, which we should be proud of. It's one of the reasons why students choose this place. However, we are seeing that this university is growing and therefore needs to expand. Ideally, the expanding will be limited to this campus. But if we have to go external, then choose something that adds value to the program. For example, the cooperation between Tilburg and Eindhoven chose them both to put the study data science over there. And that makes sense because Den Bosch is a connection between these two cities. So if we have to go external, choose something that adds value. Well, if we have to look at what we are missing now on the campus, we are seeing that there aren't many places for us to socialize, hang out, and just to meet other students. It's also a wish from, now uh, from the uh, international students to have these places. And we can do that by having more cafes, more places to eat, just more places where people can come together. And this will also add, an, um, add to the um, community feeling that we have on this school. All right, and if we're go going to our second topic, um, that's multidisciplinary education. And we think that in a time where um, technology is disrupting industries so fast and where innovation cycles are becoming so much shorter, uh, we should, as a university, <laughs> emphasize a multidisciplinary education more. Um, in our education, we are already taking great steps with this, with the minors in, in programs that we're introducing, but I think we could do more. And an idea could be to uh, support students who want to um, take courses at different faculties and we can do this by increasing the cooperation between the different faculties. It's an option now for students to take on top of programs um, at different faculties but it's hardly ever used due to lack of awareness and difficult procedures but if we support students to follow their own interests and own ambitions and uh, support them to take different courses at different faculties we can increase our multidisciplinary education even more. And this also adds up to the ability of the university to contribute to society's problems. Um, both uh, national and global challenges are so complex that we will require a multidisciplinary view um, to solve them. Um, another option, what we could do university-wide, is organize clinics and events. Uh, we at the law school have the law clinics where students work in teams and solve a problem for a company or for a city. And if we take this university-wide, we could have uh, students from each faculty joining interdisciplinary teams and work together, learn how to operate in interdisciplinary teams and solve interdisciplinary problems for companies or cities. Um, and another way we could do this is by organizing more university-wide events. So for example, last year we had the Brexit night, which was great. And um, by organizing these events related to important societal <laughs> topics, um, we could, uh, Okay, yeah, well, the Brexit was terrible, but that we as a university can um, organize those events and think about those problems, that is, I think that's re really important. And when you do that, you also uh, teach students how to, or how to form an opinion about those, those things. 
The last thing we want to talk to you about is career prospects. We see in the student evaluation that this is one of the weak points of Tilburg University, so we need to pay more attention to this. In today's job market, it's also very important to do something extra besides studying. We see this as the obligation of Tilburg University to create this possibility for students and facilitate them. When students want to go on exchange, they have a mobility window, which means they can go on exchange without any delay, which is great, but we shouldn't stop there. We should also create this mobility window for students who want to go on internships, who want to have extra jobs, or do extracurricular activities. And we can do this by video lectures, by having um, the classes on one or two days in the week, so that students can choose uh, to combine things and this will help them grow and also increase the job possibilities when they want to work when they are done. <laughs> All right so to wrap it up we do support the university's view to increase both in student numbers and in educational programs but we do want to emphasize that it's important to keep true to your own identity and your own strengths and in addition more to capitalize on that and we think this can be done by expanding the campus internally where possible and externally where it adds value. Uh, by increasing multidisciplinary education and events and by strengthening the career possibilities of our graduates. Thank you. Thank you.